trunk. Hundred J's roll, bowl full of runts. Hoovers can't hit it once. They ask a whole bunch. I'd like to smoke in peace. That is all I want. Put fire on Thanks for rolling up to Blood Marley. This is certified pot hit. Late evening spliffs. You know what we about to do, Bird Club. We about to take a look at these cannabis conspiracy theories, which I like to call cannabis conspiracy theories. It's about Eiffel Tower. Have you ever gazed at the Eiffel Tower and wondered, could this iconic monument be more than just a marvel of engineering, a cultural icon, and a symbol of Parisian charm? What if in its towering elegance it also conceals the world's biggest most audacious secret one that could only be unveiled by those with a little shall we say heightened perspective i know it sounds absurd like the kind of idea you'd come up with after one too many late night snacks in a conversation that starts with what if but bear with me once you see the clues you might never look at the eiffel tower the same way again in fact, you might just see it for what it truly is. A colossal, mind-boggling, iron-clad bong hiding in plain sight. Ready to get elevated? Let's take a walk through the uh trees and see where we end up at. Here's a riddle for you. I'm bold and blue, sometimes runny or firm. A stinky delight that makes foodie squirm. Spread me on bread or melt me with flair. What French dairy treat will scent the air? Ask yourself this. Why does the... Eiffel Tower, with all its l intricate iron lattice work and towering height, looks suspiciously like something you might find in the back of your friend's special cupboard. Why does its sleek, tapering design resemble the iconic silhouette of a bone? One that's been stretched out to size that can only be described as epic. Let's break, let's break it down. The tower's long, elegant frame, narrowing just so at the top, isn't just the feat of agricultural genius it's practically a master class in air circulation the tapering tube oh yeah that's where the magic happens if you squint your eyes just a little the lattice design even looks like the ultimate porcelain system words people percolation system it's like the do gustav uh, uh, gustav eiffel himself had a vision not of steel and iron but it was smooth hit unlike anything the world has ever seen. Don't get me started on the height. This thing was built for those who like their views and perhaps other things elevated. Coincidence? Or is there something more intoxicating beneath all that iron? The Eiffel Tower isn't just a structure. It's a masterpiece in engineering airflow. Or, if you're seeing what I'm seeing, smoke flow. Here's another riddle for you. I'm baked and buttery flaky and light a morning delight in layers i'm tight with me and some coffee your day will begin what different pastry am i with croissant thin skin consider this why does the eiffel tower need such a massive sturdy base sure you could argue that it's for structural support but have you ever thought about what else the base might be hiding what if it's not just the foundation for a monument but the perfect place to house a water chamber. The kind of chamber designed to cool something that's slowly and steadily rising upward. Imagine it now. The base isn't just the foot of the Eiffel Tower. It's the reservoir, the crucial part of a colossal world-class ball. And then there's the serene river flowing ever so convenient next to the tower. Could this iconic river be more than just a picturesque waterway? Perfectly placed for romantic strolls and scenic boat rides? What if? Just what if? It's the ideal water source to fuel the cooling system of the tower's special purpose. Perhaps Paris has been providing the world with something far more refreshing than a charming riverside view. Riddle time. I'm a leafy square where artists once met. Picasso and Renoir, you bet. Montmartre's my home. Full of stories to tell. What am I? The living Parisian spell? That was a real weird, weird way to say story. Have you ever wondered why the Eiffel Tower lights up every evening with such a spectacular show? Shimmering like the world's most majestic sparkler? Could it be that those flickering lights are more than just a visual treat for tourists? What if? Stay with me. It's a grand signal. 
a neon sign to the world that it's time to light up. Think about it. Every day like clockwork, the Eiffel Tower transformed into a dazzling display. Its golden glow spreading over Paris like the flame of a lighter. Coincidence? Or is this the universe's way of saying time to get lit? The tower, a glow in the night, is almost begging for someone to sit back, relax, and admire its fiery beauty. And those occasionally thick clouds that linger around the top of the tower? You might say that's just weather, but are we sure? It's not just a giant puff of something else. Every time the Eiffel Tower disappears into the fog, you've got to wonder, what if Paris is hiding more than just fog behind its cityscape? Here's another riddle for you. I'm sweet and petite and rainbow array. Reason treat to brighten your day. Crispy on the outside, soft in the core. What am I? The treat everybody adores. Finally, consider this. Could it be that the Eiffel Tower is more than just an engineering marvel? More than just a symbol of France's artistic and cultural proudness? Could it be that Gustav Eiffel and his team knew something we didn't? Something that if we dare to see would make us say, Oh, I get it. When you stand beneath the Eiffel Tower, gazing up at its lofty heights, you have to ask yourself, could this be the world's most intricate and ambitious ball? Cleverly disguised as a monument? Could the world's most famous tower be hiding in plain sight all along? Keep an open mind because sometimes the biggest secrets are the ones we're too sober to see. The answers to the riddles. Blue cheese, croissant, place de tertre, macarons. I'll see y'all in the next one, bruh.